Hello and welcome to this presentation of uh, Dao De Jing by Lao Tzu and this is a translation by Stephen Mitchell and this wonderful book was published by Francis Lincoln. And this uh, translation was first published in 1988 but uh, this edition is illustrated throughout the book uh, with illustrations in form of uh, Chinese uh, paintings and the translator has tried to match the paintings with the uh, text. But here is the book uh, with the dust jacket on. And the spine. And the back cover. And here is some information about this edition. But here we have the book without the dust jacket, uh, paper bound in a brown uh, paper. Here is the spine with the text engraved. And the back cover is plain as well. But uh, this is an absolutely wonderful edition in terms of uh, the art inside and the illustrations. I really like uh, traditional Chinese art. And here are the end papers. And this book is all printed on photo paper, so very shiny coated uh, paper. And this edition was published in 2013, uh, printed and bound in China. And here is the title page with Dao De Jing Lao Tzu, translated by Stephen Mitchell and Francis Lincoln. And the book contains a foreword. And then the book begins. But I'm gonna do a quick heads up about this specific translation. Because from what I've read, uh, Stephen Mitchell does not read uh, Chinese, so he didn't translate it himself, uh, but instead used um, several uh, translations from other editions to make an interpretation of the Dao De Ying, instead of creating his own from translating. So some say he have uh, skipped stuff and added uh, material uh, to the Dao De Ying, and therefore uh, some people don't really care about this translation. But I was mainly interested in the illustrations for this edition, so I didn't really care about the translation. But uh, I have only read the uh, James Legg uh, translation. But you can see the chapters here clearly, uh, with an illustration on every page, or every other page at least. And I really like uh, reading the first two sentences on on uh, translations for the Dao De Ying to see how they each have interpreted uh, the Chinese. The Dao that can be told is not the eternal Dao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. Uh, so pretty standard. I've seen uh, several other translations with pretty much the exact same interpretation. Well, some use the way instead of uh, Dao, but the, it's mainly a play with words at that point. Uh, coming up with something new, new. Uh, but the paper is uh, very white, uh, the text size is big and the paper is also quite thick. And the quality of the text and illustration is very good. You can see here the wonderful uh, paintings and illustrations. And I think he picked uh, paintings from four different dynasties. Uh, but uh, he writes a bit about the paintings at the end of the book, so I'm going to show that as well. But as I said, I'm a really big fan of uh, traditional Chinese art.
especially landscape paintings. And my favorite artist is uh, Tang Jin from the Ming uh, dynasty. And this book definitely has uh, paintings from the Ming, Ming dynasty, but uh, I've, I haven't seen anything from uh, Tang Jin yet. But this one is really great. A yeah, full page painting. And the reason for me liking traditional Chinese art, I think it comes from the fact that the paintings are so peaceful, uh, but yet uh, very powerful in its uh, nature. I'm just gonna go through the whole book. <laughs> Because I haven't uh, looked through the illustrations myself uh, fully. So I'm just sitting here and uh, watching them. And I'm sure you are listening to some Chinese music in the background as well. And this painting is the one from the uh, dust jacket. This one was really nice. I think this is the only one that resembles uh, Tang Jin, uh, at least a bit. Hmm. And this is the last chapter, 81. I'm just gonna see which dynasty this last illustration is from. It's from the Jan uh, dynasty in 1351, so a bit over 100 years uh, before Tang Jin. And here uh, at the last pages we have information about the paintings. And here we can see some of the dynasties included, uh, Sang, Jian, Ming, uh, Xing, sorry for the uh, pronunciation, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that they are all uh, wrong, but that's something I will have to work on. Uh, <laughs> and then we have the details of the paintings, so you can see which illustration it is and who made it, and from which dynasty, and uh, if it's dated or not. And at the end we have the same uh, end papers. And this book is sewn uh, with a red headband and the spine is uh, flat. I think this book opens up fairly well, uh, considering its uh, size. It's just a bit over 100 pages long, so that is good. And that was the presentation of uh, Dao De Jing. 
Bao Lao Tzu and translated by Stephen Mitchell. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I personally think that this is an absolutely wonderful edition of Tao Te Ying, mainly because of the artwork inside. But I also want to read the interpretation by Stephen Mitchell and see how much it dif differs from others. I know that you have to read uh, a lot of different translations of Tao Te Ying to get the most out of it, unless you can speak uh, Chinese. But if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will answer it as quickly as I can. Please check out my Patreon page, the link is in the description, or it's showing right here. Beep. But that was all I have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.